So we've got the Earth's radius is this many, uh, that's in meters actually, that many meters. And the question is, what is his angular speed? We know that it rotates every 24 hours. So I can write down here for, if you will, part A, I can say it does one rotation every 24 hours. And I want to convert that to uh, angular speed, and angular speed will be in radians per second. And I can say one rotation is 2 pi radians. And I can say 1 hour. Notice this is on the bottom, so I have to put this on the bottom, or the top to reverse it. And that's 3,600 seconds, if you're not familiar with that. And when I do the, the, the stuff on the calculator, I get it 7.27 times 10 to the minus 5 radians per second. So that is the angular speed of the Earth. All right, good. So the question, next question, what is the velocity at the equator? Um, so, oh, hold on. Is it is the angular velocity positive or negative? It's going to be, B is going to be positive. C, because it's because of the direction of its rotation. As it's rotating from the perspective of the North Pole, it's moving in a positive clockwise direction, so that's how you determine that. The speed at the equator, I'm going to take this speed... And well, watch what I do. I'm going to take 7.27 times 10 to the minus 5. That's rads per second. I want to convert this to meters per second. And I can say that there are 2 pi rads, if you think about it, in one revolution, right? As the Earth revolves around, it's going to go through one full revolution of a circle, right? It's a sphere, but that's fine. And you can then say um, one revolution is equal to the circumference at the equator, and the circumference of the circle, right, is uh, 2 pi r. So I'll say 2 pi times r, and r is 6.37 e6. And it all comes out to 463 meters per second. Now, the last question took me a minute to think this through. What's the velocity at halfway between the equator and the North Pole? So that's going to take us to sort of, you know, draw a circle here. And if you think about it for a moment, the radius of the Earth is this. But the radius to, it's going to be to this point right here. This is also the radius. And so what we're trying to find, if you think about it, is we're going to have a triangle right here well, what we need to do is we want to find out what this line is here. Let me draw that triangle a little bit bigger. So I've got a triangle here, here, and here. And this angle here is 45 degrees. And this is the radius of the Earth. And so we can use uh, uh, Sokotoa, if you will, to solve this problem. So what I could do is I can find that the value of this is at 45 degrees. I'm trying to basically find out what this number is. It's the same math, except I'm not going to put 6.37 in here that I'm going to do here. I've got to find what this value is. And so x, so I can say sine of 45, remember SOS, S-O-H, right, for SOHCAHTOA, of 45 is equal to, if you will, x over the hypotenuse, and the hypotenuse is the radius, and the radius of the Earth is 6.37 E6. And when I solve for x... I get 4.5 times 10 to the 6 meters. So when the Earth is rotating at 45 degrees, this distance from here to here is this number right here, this many meters. And then to find the speed, if you're standing at that portion of the Earth, you're going to do the exact same math we did here, except instead of using the 6.37, you're going to use 4.5 times 10 to the 6, and I end up with 327 meters per second. That's the answer to D.